Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're doing well. Um, today we're going to talk about the Nutri Tower. It's a vertical hydroponic indoor garden and I came across a few days ago and I was very excited about the concept. Um, I came in touch with the uh, company itself. It's a um, Canadian owned company and the Nutri Tower itself is also uh, built and designed I guess in Canada. Um, I wanted to buy one but unfortunately the uh, transfer costs to Austria or to Europe are very expensive but I really love the concept. Um, it's a vertical hydroponic garden which means it don't use normal soil. In this uh, garden it uses some form of uh, lava pellets or stone pellets. Um, this is a material which will uh, hold water for some time and give the water nutrient mix directly to the roots of the plants so you don't have problems um, with the dirty soil you don't need um, a big uh, pot for it it is very uh, friendly and clean you only have to maintain the nutrient mix in the water and the plants will grow um, as far as I understand it the Nutri Tower has um, plant lights inside on the column which will provide light for the plants. Um, there's a reservoir and a pump in the base which pumps the nutrient solution to the top of the tower and there are some hoses which um, distribute the nutrient water mix to the pots. I really love the concept. I want I would like to to buy one, but as I said, unfortunately, the transfer costs to Europe are very high. Um, so I decided I build my own. Um, just uh, just a quick talk about why I'm going to make my own. Um, if I could have bought the Nutri Tower for the normal price with some reasonable transfer cost, I would 100% uh, bought it. Um, the issue with uh, making stuff your own is if you want to make it good or clean, um, it costs quite a lot of money and although um, thousand dollars are a high price it's a lot of money um, I would say it's totally worth it you have to consider the material cost you have to consider um, the work that's behind it and I'm pretty sure I won't get cheaper if I make it myself <coughs> um, the idea is that I draw the different parts in CAD using the Fusion 360 software. Um, I plan to build it out of aluminum sheet metal, which I want to laser cut. Um, then the parts will get bent and riveted together. Um, so I make the base, the center column and the top. I plan to use four LED full spectrum growing lamps which can be bought in different uh, online stores or grow shop or hydroponic shop. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure how I will make the pots but that um, should not be a problem for the hanging um, part I um, think I will use some zinc steel wire which is connected 
to the top and to the bottom yeah i plan to to make uh, the reservoir to be put out all together which is also the case at the nutri tower and that's the plan um if you are in north america or south america take a look at the website from them it's a really great website with a lot of information and if you are into planning uh, if you are into um, planting your own crops or your own uh, vegetables or fruits it's a really really great idea i used to grow my food in raised beds i also planned uh, to build um, a glass house um, here in austria the summers begin quite late and stop quite early a glass house would be a perfect solution but the problem with glass houses is you have to build them they are quite expensive you have to um, fix them to the ground so they don't fly away when there's wind and yeah i i don't quite like the concept then you also have to um, put some raised beds in the glass houses if you want to work comfortably which is not always a good solution if you have only a small glass house this the nutri tower would be the perfect solution for my um, use case i have photovoltaics power which can be integrated uh, into the tower i also plan to make some controller uh, in the future when my vegetable tower is finished uh, that will control the whole thing so the maintenance is also already a little bit um, less yeah that's the plan i'm going to make or i think i'm going to make some follow-up videos about constructing and building the tower and i hope i can let you be a part of it so thank you for watching uh, please check out the nutri tower i don't get uh, anything from them but i think it's a really really great project um even or although the times are yes quite uh, strange at the moment the food prices are going up you don't know what quality the food has and i think this would be a nice hobby even if you had um, kids for example so you can show them how you can grow your own food how things are made i really really like this project so thank you very much for your time and i wish you a nice day